This is Homelink 9-7, Sharing Money with Friends for Grade 3 Everyday Math. In class, we're thinking about division, but we have not yet introduced a procedure for division. We will work with formal division algorithms in fourth grade everyday mathematics. Encourage your child to solve the following problems in his or her own way and explain the strategy to you. These problems provide an opportunity to develop a sense of what division means and how it works. Sometimes it helps to model problems with pennies, beans, or other counters that stand for bills and coins. Well, this one says $77 is shared equally by four friends. So you can come up with a lot of different strategies to figure out um, how, how this would work. Um, if you want to share $77 with four friends, you could certainly get 77 counters and start putting them in groups. Um, you can start thinking about what you already know. So for example, if I'm going to share $77 equally with four friends, I might start by saying, well, hmm, because the question is, how many $10 bills does each friend get? How many $1 bills does each friend get? How many $1 bills are left over? And then if the leftover money is shared equally, how many cents does each friend get? Each friend gets a total of, and then the number model. So it wants us essentially to divide this up with four people, to split it up. One way you can do this is to say, well, if I gave each friend one $10 bill, that would be four times 10, and I'd have $40. And 77 minus 40 is 37. I still have 37 left over. So do I have enough money to give each friend another $10 bill? I don't, because if I were to try, it would be $40 again. And I don't have 40. I only have 37. So each friend is going to get one $10 bill. And I'm going to start writing my number model right down here. I'm just going to put this 4 times 10 right in parentheses because I know I already did that, and that's going to equal 40. So then I have $37 left to split up. Well, I have to split 37 by 4. I can't quite do that, so I have to find one number, a number less that's going to e be divisible by 4 that I can split 4 with equally. Um, I can split 4 equally with 36, so I can do 9. Everybody can have 9 $1 bills. That would be 4 times 9 because that would be 36. Um, it's 37 minus 36 is going to be one left over. So I'm going to fill in my number model as I go. Again, 4 times 9, because that's how many $1 bills everybody's going to get. That's 36. So far I have 40 plus 36. That's going to equal 76. Um, I still have $1 left over. So if the leftover money is shared equally, how many cents does each friend get? Well. I can see if I share a dollar with four people, everybody's going to get 25 cents, right? 25 cents. So if I were to add that up, um, then I would see here each friend gets a total of how much money? I'm going to put this number model right here, uh, 0 0.25 times 4. That's going to equal 1, and that should equal 77 right here. And each friend will get a total of, uh, here's one $10 bill. Remember, this is a 10, not a 19, not a, not, a, um, not a 1. So here's 10 plus 9 is 19 plus 25 cents. So each friend gets a total of $19.25. Um, and the number model to actually figure this part out will be 77. Uh, and I'll write it in a different spot. That's how I figured out these, these totals up here. But the number model to figure this part out will be 77 divided by 4. It's going to equal 19, 25. Okay? All right, now practicing multiplication. Um, this says use the partial product method to solve these problems. It really doesn't matter which method you use. Um, we'll use the partial product method because this is what it says. But you can actually use any method you choose. So 2 times 2 is 4, but that's actually 20. So 2 times 20 is 40, plus 2 times 1 is 2, and the answer is 42. <coughs> and just to show you another method to go with this, the regular uh, algorithm is the traditional algorithm, I guess I should say. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 42. Either way, you get the same answer. All right, for here, the partial products algorithm, 4 times 4. 4, or 4 times 40, actually, is going to be 4 times 4 is 16 and add a 0, plus 4 times 8 is 32, 
that's 192. And if I were to use the traditional algorithm, 48 times 4, it's going to look like 8 times 4 is 32, but down the 2 carry the 3. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 3 is 19. You can still see it's the same answer, partial products or traditional. Partial products algorithm, 5 times 6 is 30, but that's actually 60, so I have a 0 to add, plus 5 times 3 is 15, that's 315. Now for the traditional algorithm, 63 times 5, 5 times 3 is 15, down the 5 carry the 1, 5 times 6 is 30, plus 1 is 31, so 315. This is Homelink 9.7, sharing money with friends for grade 3 everyday math.